Hey YouTubers, Vicky Asset. it, gotta be quiet, it's almost half two in the morning and my dad's asleep, so is my mum, and so is my dog, or at least trying to. Anyway, so this video was inspired by um, this new subscriber, uh, well, not new subscriber, um, I'm new to subscribing to her, I actually only subscribed today. Anyway, uh, her name is Ink Rose, check her out, I've subscribed to, you know I've subscribed to her, and I, <laughs> I've subscribed to her. Subscribe to her. Um, so check her out. She's really good. She does a lot. She does a load of My Little Pony stuff, but she also did this really cool my, uh, my top twelve favorite Pokemon video. Um, inspired by somebody else. I'm not gonna say his name because I can't remember it. So check those out too. Anyway, so basically, a I love the kind of rules, or at least my rules are a. This is just my opinion on what I think. Um, b um, I don't just love the Pokemon I'm telling you about, I love their, their evolutions past and present. Okay, so I have my little handy list. So let's get rolling. So, I'm going to tell you my top 15. Okay. So, 15 is Growlithe. Growlithe is a fire Pokemon. She, he was first found as, um, it's mostly Jenny's, Officer Jenny's, um, best friend and partner, but she sometimes has other one. Growlithe was also, um, James from Team Rocket's Pokemon before, when he was still Master James, before he left. Growlithe evolves into Arcane, and they're both fire and dogs, and pretty cute. I'm not going to tell you loads of information on each because I can't. Anyway, so number 14 is Pachirisu. Pachirisu was the first Pokemon I ever saw. I got it as this little like card stand thing which I traded with some cards in a playground. Anyway, it's a blue electric squirrel Pokemon. It's Dawn one of Dawn's, in the anime it's one of Dawn's Pokemon and I think it's found in Sinnoh. Growlithe you can find pretty much anywhere. Mostly Kanto. And then Patrizzo. Pretty cute, right? But pretty cute, right? But don't, but don't, don't uh, make Patrizzo angry. Otherwise, you'll get an electric shock. Probably worse than Pikachu. Pikachu's. <laughs> bye, bye, uh, bye, Patrizzo. <laughs> anyway, thirteen. Thirteen is Cubone. Cubone is um a. Just double checking. I'm on this website called Bulbapedia. Check it out. It's really great for loads of vamp uh, not vampire, Pokemon facts. Um, but it's really cool. Anyway, here we are. Cubone, get out of the way. Cubone is a ground type. I thought so, but I wasn't too sure. It evolves into Marowak, and I actually sometimes said Caspers, go play with your Marowak. He has this little bone thing. Anyway, they both wear skulls um, over their heads as armor, and they both use. Um, bones to whack each whack people with. Pretty cool. Um, they're also in anime and mostly found in Kanto. Oh, forgot to say, I got the Alpha Sapphire DS game for Christmas and I've watched every single, or I think every single, um, Pokemon episode from the first to, well not the latest because I wasn't able to, but most of them I'm figuring out. <laughs> okay, so... 12. Number 12 is Deerling. Deerling is a season Pokemon. It's found, I think, Unova, but you can probably find versions of Deerling all around uh, the world, every region. Deerling evolves into Sourcebok. It's known as the season Pokemon because they evolve, because as the season changes, so do they. There's summer form, uh, spring form, summer form, autumn form, and winter forms. Personally, I prefer the winter forms. The white is just so cute. Okay, bye guys. Oh, I forgot to say, this is the only known picture taken in anime of where you can get all, see all four poke, four versions of Saw's Bark together because it is like ultra legendary rare. Like, doesn't even happen. It's really rare because you'd have to have all different four seasons and they just, who knows. But that's the only photo. Bye. Anyway, 
Number 11 is Pangro. Pang Pangro? You knew there was going to be a bear in there. It's basically a panda one. That's pretty much the only reason I have her in here. They're fighting types and they grow, they evolve into a fighting slash. Just looking at my notes. Yeah, fighting slash dark type called Pancha. They always have a piece of bamboo in their mouth, but when the bamboo gets taken out, they become weak and lose will to fight. Um, and they can only have a special type of bamboo to get them to work. Bye guys. But you knew the panda was going to be in there. <laughs> okay, so number 10 is Gothitelle. Gothitelle is a girl goth kind of Pokemon. Hence, goth and tell. Goth being, being the way he looks and a tell being like a girl. Gothitelle evolves from goth, goth, gothi, Gothita, Gotharita, and Gothitelle. They're psychic Pokemon and they're also really awesome. Um, in anime, in the same se season, I think, in Univert, you've at, you can actually, there's different episodes, but you can see each different types of evolution. They're all pretty amazing, but I love them because not just are they psychic, but they're extremely clever and just really awesome and intelligent and really powerful and brave and need I go on. Number eight, uh, sorry, number nine, Spinder. Spinder, we don't know what it evolves from or what it evolves into, but Spinder is a normal type. My Spinder on, um, on Alpha Sapphire is called Spinder Donna. It's a girl, obviously. She knows a lot of psychic, well not, it's not, I think the normal type moves, but I think of them as psychic, stuff like confusion and, um, other psychic -y type moves. She's pretty awesome, she's one of my main team. Um, I have over 50 Pokemon so I sw try to switch them around a lot but Spinadon is the one I keep on quite a lot. She's not always on there but she's one that I like to have on there. Okay, hi Spinadon. Next up we've got Gengar. Gengar is a ghost slash poison type. She, um, Gen Gengar. Gengar evolves from Haunter and Ghastly. Ghastly then Haunter then Gengar. I, pretty, I love them all, but Gengar is the cutest and they're also really powerful and they're great with illusions and they're just really awesome. Sorry, I thought I worked that up. I probably have. Anyway, Gengar is really great. Taking this off. Gengar is really great because he not only is he cute, but he's really powerful and unassuming and people are very scared of them and I don't really see why because most of the time they just want to have fun and play and quite like me. Okay, bye guys. Next up we have in number seven we have Dragonite. Dragonite evolves from Dragon Dra Trinity in Dragonair and Dragonite. Dragonite in anime, Claire in the Blackthorn Gym in Johto has one. Drake in I can't remember what his gym was called in Univer. I'm pretty sure he has one. And also, ah, Iris. Ah, Iris has one. Claire's is a girl, and she loves flowers. And Dragonite's pretty much a ro rogue rebel. Uh, Iris is Dragonite's pretty much a rogue rebel. Dragonite is pretty awesome. He is a fat. He is a dragon flying type. And I love. I'd love to get a Dragonite. Um, I'd love to evolve a Dragonite from Dra Drinitu uh, to a Dragonite to a Dragonite. I'd love to do that. But who knows? Mate, I probably won't. I just really hope I will. I only have Alpha Sapphire and I'm pretty sure you can't get it in Hoenn, so I'd have to get a different game, but who knows. Number six is is two Pokemon. We have Plusle and Minim. We don't know what evolve again, we don't know what Plusle and Minim evolve into or from. They're electric types. We don't know if they're related, but we're pretty sure they are, because they look so the same. Plusle, I have a Plusle and a Minim in Alpha Sapphire. And no, I didn't trade for my Minim. I caught it myself. Pretty difficult, but I figured out how and I used my Oddish to use Sweet Zen to get a whole group and after about an hour, I got my Minim. My Minim and Plusle plus Minim in Alpha Sapphire are named Minim Plusle. Yeah, my Plusle's called Minim and Minim's called Plusle. 
weird but cool. They're really great if you want to use them in contests and in the anime they're used in contests and they're great for double battles. They help. E they both usually use things like helping hand and they're great for helping people out um, but they're also pretty unassuming but they're pretty powerful and they're great. That's kind of what I evolve, what I uh, work in. There you go. Okay, number five. Number five is Zoroa. Zoroa is a dark Pokemon. And notice the resemblance of Fennekin, fire Pokemon, starter fire Pokemon from Chaos. Pretty similar, but the same, so different. Same with the hair, same with the ears, both fox Pokemon. Hmm. Anyway, by Fennekin. Zoroa evolves into Zoroark. And in Unova, Luke has a Zoroa who's a girl. She basically, they have this this ability called illusion, which basically means they can change into any personal Pokemon and imitate their voice. They're pretty awesome and are really great. Um, and Luke, who's an inspiring director, uses her as actress. Though she is pretty much a devil. I mean, she doesn't want to play any of the boy parts, but seriously, who can blame her? <laughs> um, anyway, so that's Zoroa, that's my fifth Pokemon. I'd love to get a Zoroa. Awesome. Number four is Milloweth. Um, sorry. Number four is Mudkip. Mudkip in Alpha Sapphire was my first Pokemon. He's now evolved into a Marshchomp, and I called him. I think I called him Muddy. I think I called him Muddy, but I should probably change the name to him like Kip, which is a lot cooler. Anyway, he's evolved into a Marshchomp, and even though he was my first Pokemon, he is not my um, partner. Mudkip evolved into Marshchomp. And then evolved into Swampert. They're a water type and also a ground type um, from Marsh Tump onwards. Not Marsh Tump, Swampert. Um, and they also have a Mega Evolution, which is basically Mega Swampert. Um, but mine's only grown into a Marsh Tump. But he's not my partner and I don't use him a lot. Because I do have a 50 Pokemon. Bye guys. Um, ooh, this is getting exciting. Number three, Milawetta. Milawetta is a singing kind of Pokemon. She's sort of legendary and she's really into music. She sings a lot. She can calm people down with her voice. She also can change into a fight. She's a m normal psychic type, but she can change into normal fighting type. She's pretty awesome and she's very again unassuming in but she's really kick butt and she can she does need help and in anime she makes friends with Ash and his friends and she her voice unlocks this key to changing evolutionary Pokemon because Team Rocket think that they can they can capture love legendary Pokemon I'm like seriously you fit seriously that you can control legendary Pokemon are you stupid or something? You dumb which you know bad guys usually are <laughs> Uh, anyway, I'd love if I was ever a Pokemon, I'd love to be a Milawetta. They're just really awesome, and they have this amazing, these amazing abilities. Sure, they have to hide themselves to stop people from hunting them and capturing them, but they are pretty awesome, and they're just amazing. So, if I had to be a Pokemon, I'd be a Milawetta. Guess what? Same as Rose Inc. Ink Rose. Rose Inc. Can't remember. Anyway, so, number two. Number two is my partner in um, Alpha Sapphire, and that is Dustox. Dustox is the evolution of Cascoon, who, evolu who evolves from Wurmple. Wurmple can also evolve into Silcoon, and the Silcoon evolves into Beautifly. May in the Hoenn in Hoenn Adventures, which I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, she has a Silcoon, and Jessie has a Cascoon, who evolve into Dustox in uh, Beautiful and Dustox, but I prefer Dustox. Dustox is a bug and poison type. She's my partner and I love her dearly. Her name is Toxic Love and she helps me get most of my Pokemon, new Pokemon. She has a psychic ability, she has a fairy ability called Moon Moonlight, which basically helps her heal, and poison ability, a uh, poison type. Uh, poison moves. They can, did you know? They can only use four moves at a time. Like you have, if they want to learn a new one, you have to delete old ones. Stupid. I mean, why stupid? I guess I do see why, because then you wouldn't really need a lot of Pokemon. But seriously. <laughs> anyway, 
she's helps me get my new Pokemon. She has Poison Sting, which is really, really useful. Um, and she's my best friend, and I love her. I also have a Poochyena that I keep on me. Um, who no, a Mightyena because I evolved it from a Poochyena. Her name's Enna. I keep her on, and she basically has secret power and rock smash and stuff. You know, she has that. And my low tad or my low tid, who's a girl called Mrs. Mustache. She has surf and I'm getting I've got fly but I haven't put on a Pokemon there. Anyway, I've only been playing it for about just over a week. I think about a week or so. Yay. Anyway, yeah just over a week. A week in a day. Uh anyway, oh a week and a few hours. <laughs> anyway. And finally my number one Pokemon Eevee. Eevee is the multi evolution Pokemon. She is a normal type. But she evolves into so many. Right now, we've only found f we've only found nine, but I'm pretty sure there's more. If I lived in the world of Pokemon, like literally was in the world of Pokemon, I would be I would be somebody who lived with hundreds of Eevees and Eevee evolutions, and I would try and evolve her, evolve her into different and every as many different kinds of new evolutions as I could. I'd be a Eevee researcher, re Pokemon researcher. Um, right now we have the first three, Vaporeon. Jolteon and Flareon. Then we have Espeon and Umbreon. Then we had Leafeon and Glaceon. And then finally, Earth, Sylveon. We have, so Vaporeon's water, Jolteon's electric, Flareon's fire, es Espeon is psychic, Umbreon is dark, Leafeon is, is grass, Glaceon is ice and Sylveon is psychic. Uh, it's fairy, but they've also but you've also got stuff like rock and ground and poison and fighting and God knows what else. I mean, there's bug. I mean, there's so many different evolutions that she could go into. Who knows? Let's hope. Fingers fingers crossed that we'll have loads more UV evolutions. Anyway, so that's my top fifteen favorite Pokemon. Um. I will also, if this bird gets enough likes, I will tell you about my favourite Pokemon, but not in like general, my favourite Pokemon on my game, um, which I have been playing for just in, just over a week, like I said, and I'm almost in the Pokemon League. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a lot of that. Oran berries, I keep using my Oran ber berries up. I'm actually uh, pausing in a berry field at the moment. Anyway, I should go... I should go now. Obviously, I won't go to sleep because, you know, I'm me and I'm stupid and my dad's going to kill me. And I really hope that was metaphorically. <laughs> XD. Anyway, so I hope you like this video and I hope my pasting these Pokemon in was alright. It's my first time doing it. Please tell me if it was alright. Um... I want to give thanks to Rose Inc for inspiring me to do this video, um, Bulbapedia for giving me um, loads of info and helping me understand and learn more about Pokemon and it's been really helpful. I have like this massive, like it goes on forever, this massive folder just full of links to your website. So yeah, they links to the to Rose Inc and Bulbapedia are down below. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe for more weird, wacky and wonderful videos by me, Vicky F. Also, um, I've just, I should tell you, I've got inspired to be, to be, um, I write fan fiction and I wasn't planning on telling anybody but for some annoying reason I can't keep a secret. I mean, I can keep a secret but at the same time, I'm just, like, overly honest. It's really annoying. Like, I can keep somebody else's secret, but I can't keep my own secrets. It's annoying. Anyway, so, on Weebly, I have this website. You know, I have loads. But, anyway, I have this one website called BrookieTwiling at Weebly.com. At BrookieTwiling.Weebly.com. It's basically where I write under a pen name. It's supposed to be anonymous. And I guess it's alright that it's anonymous. But, at the same time, it's not. It's kind of like a public secret. Where, basically, Brookie Twiling, she she is me and it's basically I write all these crazy books like loads of fan fiction my ideas I do all sorts 
I'm hoping to put some audiobooks on soon, so it'll be with my voice, which is really annoying, I know, so sorry, but, you know, it's going to be loads of different books I've written myself, and I would really hope that you look at them and please share them and you know get people to look at them like them tell me uh, they're on ibooks they're on this website called fanfiction.net i mean they're on book retiling at really.com check the link down below please just let me know what you think of them i know it's supposed to be anonymous and i wanted it to be anonymous but at the same time i want people to read them i want to get my stuff out there and i don't want to have my name written down as Vicky S is my uh, the thing because that's not I am. I like being Brookie Twiling, this anonymous yet not anonymous fan fiction writer, this person who I mean nobody knows, but at the same time everybody knows. I mean you have to have seen my videos or know me personally to know that I'm Brookie Twiling, or or I just I don't know. I just like the idea of even though everybody probably will know that I. Vicky S and Bucky Twiling, I'm not writing under the name Vicky S, I'm writing under Bucky Twiling, and I really love that name, Bucky Twiling, it's just, it's basically Bucky from uh, Bucky Page from Ever After High, and Twiling is basically a mix of Twilight and Little Darlings. Little Darlings is my favourite book, I've read it like three times, it's by Jacqueline Wilson, actually the only one that except like maybe the story of Trace Speaker and a couple, okay I've read a couple of her books but it's the only one that I've kept and I've read over and over again, I love the book, I don't know why but I love it. Um, anyway, so it's kind of a mixture of the two, Ling, Twiling. Anyway, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe, please re watch the, um, watch, check out Rose Inc, check out my web, my new website, Breaky Twiling, and check out Bulbapedia and, you know, God, it feels so good to, to just tell everybody. But then, oh yeah, I've been tidying my room up. It's not. God, I sound like really obnoxious. I'm not really going to be doing many more Libby Love Heart bids because they won't get many people, and I'll just kind of, you know, I've got Brocky Twiling now. I don't need Libby Love Heart. Though I may do some books about Libby Love Heart maybe. Um, I've been tidying up my room. It's still not pretty. It's still not amazing, but it's a lot tidier. It looks a lot tidier. I've got still got to do my wardrobe though. And don't leave my bed. <laughs> anyway, see you soon, YouTubers. Don't forget, comment, rate, and subscribe. Said the like three times. Mm -hmm. uh, going to a antiques fair tomorrow, or today, I guess, at Chester. Please hope I stay awake, or, you know, my dad doesn't find out that I was awake, and then makes me stay here, and then makes me fall asleep, and then... <gasps> anyway. Um... So if you're in Chester, sorry, it's the dog. Dog's awake. If you're in Chester tomorrow, check out the V and A fair. I'm going to be there with my dad, and we're going to be selling antiques. Fingers crossed. Um, I'm going to go now before I push my elephant and somebody wakes up. Bye, YouTubers. Bye. <laughs>